The Democratic nominee for governor was feeling pretty good as she walked into Maxie's, a restaurant in her hometown of Waterbury. Sue Minter is running her first statewide race, challenging a popular lieutenant governor, and a new poll had her neck and neck. How do you close the deal? Well, you get out and visit everyone. Uh, you make sure they know that you're a governor who's going to create jobs and economic opportunity for the future. That's going to create great communities so more young people are going to want to live, work, and stay. Minter is promising two years of tuition-free technical or community college for Vermont kids, for example, to propel many more of them past high school. She would pay for that through higher taxes on banks. She is also promising to expand early education, paid family leave, and raise Vermont's minimum wage. We're going to give Vermonters a raise. We're going to create great communities that can actually grow and thrive with entrepreneurs. Minter is 55, a Pennsylvania native and Harvard graduate who's married with two kids. She served in the Vermont House before joining the Shumlin administration, leading the Irene recovery effort later as Secretary of Transportation. It's no secret Sue Mentor's mentor is Peter Shumlin. They've worked together, raised taxes together. Mentor bristles at the millions spent by outside groups on TV advertising, adds the painter as a big spending puppet of Governor Shumlin. You know what? And I'm not a bobblehead. And you know what? I'm a really independent thinker. I'm not a puppet. I don't believe that I am somebody else. I am my own person. We've only ever elected one woman. I'm ready to be the second, and I hope you're ready for me. So thank you. She is hoping to become only the second woman ever elected governor of the state, emphasizing education, universal background checks on all gun purchases, and access to abortion, with no exceptions. And there are real differences between us. A win would extend Democratic dominance in Montpelier for at least two more years. For her GOP rival, Phil Scott, that's the problem. Enough is enough. We need to live within our means. We're going to have to grow this economy. We're going to have to have more balance in the state house. We can't have a uh, one-party rule like we've, we've had for the last seven years. On Tuesday, Vermonters will choose a new leader. I think it, it matters a, a great deal. I think there's a stark difference between the two candidates. And I think what people are looking for is a leader who can actually bring people together and gets things done. Minter or Scott for the future of the state. In Waterbury, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News.